Oke, okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon everyone. And good afternoon, Mr. Joko, the honorable lecturer. Today, I am Muhammad Rizki Gifari, as the first and the only one presenters who present the linguistic environment, chapter 4, in understanding SLA Lourdes Ortega 2009 okay the first the first thing that we will learn today is you will all you all will remember Wes and who is Wes Wes is a Japanese semi-immigrant who moved from the Japan to Hawaii. He was a young Japanese artist who learned English without instructions in Honolulu. His progress over the first three years of intermittent but increasingly prolonged residence in the language Two, or second language environment was crop nickeled by Richard Smith okay as the result he can communicatively successful but in grammatically unsuccessful let's move in the next slide okay from the waste case we got three points. The first point, awareness of the linguistic environment is the key to acquisition. I'm never learning. I only just listen then and then talk. According to Smith on page 168. Okay. And the second point is grammar acquisition cannot happen unless one makes a conscious effort so if you want to learn about grammar we need to hard work and the third point is Smith research with West enable him to conclude that noticing is the fifth ingredient for successful SLA along with attitude input direction and output so after the Smith learned about the West, West case, he concluded five ingredients to learn in successful way for SLA. So Smith concluded that positive attitudes and an optimal environment will afford the linguistic, the data needed for learning. But that the learning will not happen unless the learner engages in active processing of those data. In other words, grammar acquisition cannot be successfully without applying interest, attention, and hard work. According to Smith on page 173. Okay, let's move into the next slide okay as I said before we will learn the five ingredients to achieve successfully in learning SLA the first one is attitude and the second one is input the third one is interaction and the fourth one is output and the last one is noticing okay let's start with the first one attitude okay obviously the second language environment engenders in learners certain attitudes that have effective and social 
physiological basis and that must be considered if we want to understand second language learning. Okay, according to Schumann acculturation model, there are two points that we will learn in SLA, especially in attitudes way. The first one is social distance and the second one is psychological distance. Okay, I will explain a little bit about the characteristic of social distance and psychological distance. The characteristics of social distance, the first one is social dominance patterns. The native language learners reference group can be superior, inferior, or equal in terms of politics, culture, technology, or economics. And the second one is integrate integration strategies. Assimilative learners give up native language values and lifestyles. And the third one, the third one is enclosure. When groups share social facilities, enclosure is low. This support language learning. And the fourth one is inter intended length of residency. Length of time, a learner plane to stay in the country and the permanency of residency in the country impact motivations to learn a new language. The fifth one is cohesiveness, strong intra-group contact in the native language community with few contacts outside the community impacts the second language learning. The sixth one is size. The size of native language community may impact the second language learning. And the next is culture, cultural congruence. The similarity and harmony between the cultures impact the second language learning. And the last one, attitudes. The feelings of the reference groups toward each other impact learning. So that's all the characteristic of the social distance. Of course, we we want to we won't talk about the social distance that we face in this situation. And the second one is the characteristic of psychological distance. There are four characteristics. In psychological distance the first one is language shock feeling silly about trying to learn the language equates to less likely to learn the second one is cultural shock and the f being an anxious or disoriented in the culture equates to less likely to learn the third one is motivation. Level of the motivations will, will affect learning, of course. Yeah. And the last one is ego. Ego, permeability, the extent to which second language learners view their first language as fixed and rigid will impact their learning of the second language. Okay. Let's move into the next slide. Okay, one of the five ingredients then after the attitudes is input. According to Krasen, the single most important source of second language learning is comprehensible input or language which learners process for meaning and which contains something to be learned that is linguistic data slightly above the current level okay we still talk about the comprehensible input hypothesis the grammar learning will naturally occur when learners are exposed to content that is personally relevant and understandable okay 
learners obtain comprehensible input mostly through listening to oral messages that interlocutors direct to them and via reading written texts that surround them such as a street signs personal letters books and so on when the second language learners process these messages for meaning which they will most likely do if the content is personally irrelevant and provided they can reasonably understand them in this case grammar learning will naturally occur okay let's move to the next slide okay the third ingredients that, that we learn today is interaction according to long 1996 the best comprehensible input comes in the form of interaction the first one interlocutors can negotiate for meaning and modifying their interaction for comprehension there are three points in the first one the first one is clarification request the second one is confirmation checks and the last one is comprehension checks okay let's talk about the first one clarification request is non understanding or serious for example what do you mean um pardon me so this has a function to clarify something in the conversation and the second one is confirmation checks when the interlocutor is somewhat unsure he or she has understood the message correctly for example you mean aris oh aris and norman right yeah. and the third one is comprehension checks if one interlocutor suspect the other speaker may not have understood what she said or he said so for example you know what i mean do you want me to repeat that is the example from the comprehension text yeah. okay according to longman the second point he believes that interactional modified input tailor-made for the learner is the most effective and the third one is studies have shown that interaction leads to better comprehension and cooperation of input from interlocutor interlocutors okay let's move in the next slide The next ingredient that we will learn today is output, comprehensible output hypothesis. Producing the target language may be triggered that forces the learner to pay attention to the means of expression, according to Swan 1985. Okay, let's back in the waste case. Likewise, oral discourse competence was strong but grammatical and social and sociolinguistic competence was weak due to lack of changes tongues to speak and write in the second language okay. the output hypothesis claims that the act of producing language in this case speaking and writing constitutes under certain circumstances and part of the process of the second language okay in here we still talk about the output which is output modification according 
according to Brandon, 1997. Study on Dutch. Second language speakers show that learners modify their output in response to negotiation from their interlocutors and that negotiation facilitates more productive output. Okay. And according to Shehade, 1999, found that output modification occurs more frequently in self-initiated repairs than, than other initiated repair. Okay. According to Izumi, 2003, Accused that learners can modify their output only in meaningful and not mechanical language use. Okay, the last part of the ingredients is noticing. We need to notice if someone speak their idea. Learners need to notice that there is something new in the linguistic environment learning directly related to noticing the more learners notice the more they learn so there are two parts in noticing process the first one is internally driven in this case learners may notice the gap between what they are able to express and what they want to express in the second language second one is externally driven learners may notice the gap between their language and that of their interlocutors or through expl uh, explicit what is it from a teacher okay the last part in my presentation is the limits of the linguistic environment conversational tasks may exhibit lower levels of negotiation than information cap task but encourage more personal engagement and risk taking and learners may feign understanding to save face and avoid lengthy negotiation and attitudinal and affective factors can hinder negotiation. Communication style varies with individuals. So there are one, two, three, four, four limits of the linguistic environment that we learn today. Okay, I think there are six, I'm sorry. A native speaker prejudice toward second language learners can treat all utterances as problematic. And the next point is, second language learners may feel that native speakers have a responsibility to understand their inner language. Okay, thank you everyone. And Thank you for your attention. I will open the question, the second section, which is question and answer section. That's all from me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.